Good morning from Burnage High School in Manchester. Violence in our schools is on the rise. Here at this school, they feel they have the answer. There are some 40 CCTV cameras located around the school, monitoring every corner. Every movement a child makes is captured on camera every three-second intervals. Presumably, you're starting to get a better feeling of the reaction in these Leeds suburbs where the various... Uh, police raids have been carried out and where they now know that uh, these bombers lived amongst them. Well, there's a certain sense of bewilderment and frustration here among residents. What started out uh, as a day in which police were still focusing on the house of one suspected terrorist, very rapidly uh, they changed their focus to a, another street close by, uh, by the name of Lodge Lane and a parade of shops. Sky's Jonas Muller went back there to see how the community is coming to terms with the events of July the 7th. Walking these streets, I've encountered groups after groups who show a determined reluctance to discuss the past. A defensiveness which is all too apparent. The scars run so deep here, there is a feeling that whatever is felt or said should be left within the confines of this community. The family of Shazad Tanweer has returned to this neighbourhood and Hasib Hussain's family is welcome in the region's mosques. A man has been rescued overnight from a collapsed office building in central London. Specialist fire crews worked late into the night to try to free him after the building caved in while it was being renovated. Let's find out a little bit more from our reporter Eunice Miller who joins us from the scene. Hello to you Eunice. Uh, talk us through what happened. Well, this was a difficult uh, and dangerous operation that made it slow uh, and complex at times. The priority initially was to try and make the building safe uh, and secure before they could attempt uh, to free this man because the danger was always that there could be a further collapse and that could endanger the lives uh, of those involved in this operation. But just after one o'clock this morning, uh, they finally took the decision to try and free him and they did that by going through the building instead of using the crane which they had brought earlier. Humble's accent led police to focus their investigation in the northeast. But it was only in 1981, after Peter Sutcliffe confessed and was jailed for life, that the tape was revealed as a hoax. But John Humble's defence team today conceded the former labourer did write those letters and make the tape. The issue, they say, is not one of whether it was actually him, it's solely the question of intent. Fairpack collapsed because the money it lent to its parent company wasn't paid back. Customer savings of this kind are now in ring-fenced accounts after a change in the law. The problem, however, remains that the 17p in the pound Fairpack customers received from a government-backed fund wasn't followed by the five pence in the pound liquidators promised. The gown down to Christmas can be stressful and the Fairpack promised a hassle-free way of paying for the big day. But without adequate compensation, there are families who face a miserable time again this year. The game itself does not feature any photography or video, but the church believes photographers may have visited the cathedral. Sony's response so far has been to insist the game is not based on reality. It is, they say, entertainment permission, they claim, was sought where necessary. That's unlikely to satisfy the Church of England. They want the game taken off the shelves or they'll face Sony in court. Well, as far as North Yorkshire County Council is concerned, their position is quite clear. This back street, which was once cobbled, now constitutes a highway. And their legal position is this. The right of passage outweighs the need for residents to dry their laundry. Do you feel like a national champion for, for the washing line? No, I'm just doing what I think is right. If the officials at County Hall are brave enough to take on these residents, they may have to eventually take the washing down themselves.